one of the big things that beekeepers talk about all the time at beekeeper meetings are honeybee viruses. How can you recognize when your colony has honeybee viruses? And what can we do about it? So first of all, there's quite a few viruses that have been found with honeybees. Some of the most notable ones, you know, deformed wing virus, which gives that very visible sign of infection where the bees have crinkled or shriveled wings. There's sac brood virus that looks a lot like American fowl brood, et cetera. So there's a handful of viruses like those that present very specific signs of infection. But in general, many of the rest of the viruses show um, a, a composite of signs of infection that you see and make it very difficult to distinguish between what virus you're actually seeing. So what are some of those signs of infection? Well, first of all, you'll see bees that are hairless. A lot of the viruses that bees get will cause the bees to lose their hair. Some of those bees might have what we call a, a rigid paralysis, where they're just standing on the frame or they're standing and shaking just a little bit. Another good indicator of virus infection in a honeybee colony is sick bees, heavily infected bees tend to crawl away from the hive. So if you're approaching your hive as you're looking at the entrance of your hive, but even more so on the ground around the front of your hive, are you seeing lots of crawling bees? Are you seeing bees crawl up blades of grass? These bees that you are seeing, are they hairless? Do they have deformed wings? When you go into that colony, especially when you get to the brood nest, do you see a lot of bees with deformed wings? Do you see a lot of hairless bees? Do you see a lot of bees shaking? All of these things suggest that you have a virus problem. Now, the biggest question is, is what can we do about it? There are no virus treatments at the moment for honeybee colonies. You can't um, you know, give them a shot to protect them from viruses. So really the strategy that most beekeepers use to address viruses is they address the principal spreader of the most significant of the viruses that we have. And that partic particular spreader is Varroa. Varroa is that mite that gets on the outside of the bee, feeds on the bee fat bodies. And while it's doing that, it can transmit deformed wing virus and a few other bee viruses. So this mite is incredibly important as a vector as a transmitter of these viruses. So one of the best ways to keep down some of the more significant viral loads in your colonies is simply to treat for varroa. Try to kill those varroa so that they can't spread these viruses. Another strategy that beekeepers use is they keep their colonies strong and healthy. You know, when bees have everything else under control, they have plenty of food, when they have a queen, when the varroa are controlled, when there's low small high beetle populations, et cetera, the colonies are able to fight off the virus. You know, when you and I get stressed, we tend to be more susceptible to viral infection as well. So we try to keep our colonies strong and healthy. A final recommendation that I have is if you see heavily virus prevalence in your colony, you might consider requeening it. If you have your varroa under control and they have plenty of food and all the other stressors are minimized, then your last result, resort is that you have to just take the next step, which is I probably have a virus susceptible stock. So if they're susceptible to viruses, requeening might really help out in that regard. Again, viruses are terrible. A lot of scientists are focusing very closely on the impact of viruses and bee colonies. So controlling varroa, making sure that the colony is strong, requeening and making sure that they have plenty of food resources can go a long way to help control the virus populations in our beehives.